In this video, we take a brief look at what's new in iOS 12.3 Beta 1. Now the big new change in 12.3 is the revamped TV app. So it looks like the same or at least a very similar color scheme. However, the app icon itself has been completely redone and you can see that app icon in the settings app as well. Now I have my iPhone 10 in the background here. I'm running iOS 12.2 and there you can compare the TV app of old to the new TV app. Like I said, similar color scheme, but obviously a lot different. Now when you launch the app, you're gonna notice that a lot has changed, starting with the tabs at the bottom of the interface. Now, you only have Watch Now, Library, and Search. Three tabs, now compare that to 12.2, where you have Watch Now, Sports, Library, Store, and Search. But don't fret because there's some brand new buttons at the top of the Watch Now tab. You'll see buttons for movies, TV shows, sports, and kids so you can quickly access those categories right at the top of Watch Now. Now in previous versions of iOS, there was a little ellipsis button on individual title pages, and this allowed you to open within a streaming app if available, or you could open directly in iTunes and purchase media content that way. But with the new revamped TV app, Apple is trying to get away from escorting you outside of the app. Really, they want you to stay right within the TV app. You can make all your purchases right from within that interface. And of course, it still works together with your favorite streaming apps, but you'll also find a how to watch section. And this allows you to purchase TV episodes and movies directly from the TV app. You don't have to go out to iTunes first. You can do so right within the TV app. Again, further emphasizing the desire to keep you right there within the TV app. Now you'll also notice a new account button in the upper right hand corner of the TV app. You just tap that to be taken to your account page. And there you can manage all sorts of things like subscriptions, you can manage your connected apps, you can toggle those on or off. Now there's also a new For You section under the Watch Now tab. So just scroll down, you'll see For You. So like Apple Music, it's specifically curated with your taste in mind and you'll find new content for you to watch right under the new and noteworthy section. Now in the TV app for previous versions of iOS, you would find trending movies and trending TV shows, but in iOS 12.3 beta one, you'll find a single trending section that combines both TV and movies. Now, if you like watching shows from specific services or channels, then check out the featured on section. Here's an example featured on PBS, featured on CBS. And one of the headlining features of the new TV app is the ability to subscribe to channels right within the app with a single click. So you have channels like the Smithsonian channel, Tastemade, and if you haven't tried the channel before, you easily gain access to a one week trial. Now you'll notice updated tiles for movies and TV shows. You can see the new tiles there and the old tiles look more like traditional DVD box art. There's also a slightly redesigned search page. So your trending movies and trending TV shows are still there, just different. But here's a really big difference, new movie artwork. Look at that, it looks like something that would be hung up in a theater somewhere. Compare that with the old style, just no comparison. The new 12.3 artwork looks so much more appealing and other areas of the page also got a visual overhaul. But really it's all about that beautiful artwork that resides at the top. What do you think about it? Let me know down below. And the share and up next buttons have been relocated to the upper right hand corner of the title page. So there's your share button and there's your up next button. In previous versions of iOS, these were contained within the ellipsis button on the title page. Now let's switch gears. The new Apple TV remote app isn't technically a 12.3 feature, but I wanted to mention it anyway because it was just recently updated. Now it has the same little glyph icon that you find in Control Center, and I thought that was pretty neat. If we open up the remote, it looks similar to the remote that you find in Control Center, although it lacks a search button and choosing your Apple TV source is kind of cumbersome. Whereas here with the remote built into control center, you have your search button and switching between sources is better. 
And one last thing to talk about, you'll now see more Apple Pay transactions listed within the wallet app. You even have a history there that goes back several years. So what are your thoughts on iOS 12.3 Beta 1? Let me know down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.